Uh, hello, uh, I'm Mark and I'm the sad artist. I've set this, uh, this show up um, and my friend Mike here has uh, agreed to interview me. So, because uh, it's just, let's face it, it's a lot more fun talking to each other than me just spewing out a monologue. Uh, yeah. I think it'd be quite cool if you interviewed yourself, just kept changing chairs. <laughs> but uh, I don't know how I would look on camera, so maybe not. <laughs> one day. Perhaps. One day, one day. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, uh, ask away, Mike. Cool. So, first question, who the hell are you? Well, my name's Mark, I'm an artist, um, I'm also, uh, I used to be an interior decorator, well, used to, still am, still occasionally do the odd decorating job, yeah. which helps to fund my practice. It also really um, influenced how I paint as well. Um, Technique-wise, you mean? Like Technique-wise, yeah, yeah. I, I, I paint a lot of paintings like I'm a decorator. I, I generally have like a rolling production yeah. because I've got lots of different paintings um, and a lot, of, a lot of the drying times on the paint that I use, um, you know, they, they're, quite, they're quite big. I'm not just using acrylic most of the time, I'm using um, things that have got like 36 hour curing times. So what is it you use exactly when you... Um, well, paintings? at the moment it can be anything really. I, t I tend to stick to um, mist tins, uh, old paint that I found in garages and stuff just because I've got it and yeah, yeah. I, I really like seeing colours and shades and things that you don't see all the time in art um, I, I just um, use things that you wouldn't expect to be in a painting yeah yeah uh, because it seems like the main thing that's always consistent though is that you use resin um, yeah well there's there's a reason for that um, I, one I, I uh, mix my own mm -hmm. um, Secret, trade secret. That's definitely, yeah. <laughs> Don't tell anyone about that. Um, and what this does is it allows me to work with materials that you wouldn't traditionally be able to put one over the top of the other. Like you can put crayon over car paint, or you can put, um, you know, I might put some emulsion over um, some resin and then resin over that and build the whole thing up in three dimensions. Yeah, is that because it seals it in basically so that you can apply it? On Correct, the yeah. I mean I've got some resin uh, that's got layers of paint trapped underneath that will never dry. That's pretty cool though. Uh, so the main question, the hardest question in life, why do you paint? If you, if you had to try and boil it down? Well, I didn't know for a long time. Um, it was just something that I did. Um, and I got to the point where I was trying to do all of these other things as well. Mm. So I paint, but I do this, I paint, I do that. And eventually, like the old adage of the fisherman who just goes and fishes every day, mm. I just fish. So when I, when I do uh, decorating jobs for people, I don't actually do decorating jobs, I do painting. If yeah. people ask me to wallpaper, I say no. Because yeah, uh, do that's what I do, I paint. Um, I add other elements in with it, but fundamentally I'm a painter. I've always been a painter. Yeah. Uh, where where do you do your artwork? Is it mainly? It is in my studio. In your studio where we are right now? Where we are right now. So you don't really do... There'll be plenty of stock footage to see that. Yeah, I don't really think you do it anywhere else, do you really? Like I seem to do mine just dotted around maybe, but... No. You do all yours in the studio really. Yeah, I, I do because um, it's, an, it's a controlled environment. Mm. Um, I didn't used to. I used to, I used to dot stuff about when we had the old... We used to have a, a studio together years ago um, and, and that I did have to sometimes do stuff out of the studio because it was so cold. Yeah, or well, that one time when you got hold of, uh, he told me he was going to get hold of a, a couple of boxes of vinyl records and then he turned up with about... It was three tons. Three tons, so we had a half a studio each. It was a pretty big studio and Mark's studio was just unusable for about a month basically because he was just thousands and thousands of records that yeah. were obviously cherry picked and no one wanted the ones that you ended up with. <laughs> oh, well, I did get a few because About they, five. they yeah. <laughs> I've got quite a good record collection from that. Well, really, I'm doing the sad artist because um, uh, I'm sad. Yeah. But 
I, a double I, D. Yeah, with a double D. Yeah, that's an acronym. We haven't figured out what the acronym is yet, but uh, yeah, we will. Yeah, it'll be something really important. Yeah, yeah. Um, it, it was it was yeah. basically because I couldn't get the domain name. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just being honest. <laughs> yeah, well, I think that's the only way to say it, really. Um, <laughs> with, with this park, didn't it? Yeah, so. with, this, with this sort of project, um, <laughs> honesty is, is the best policy. <laughs> so, um, well, uh, I... I had some bad news um, a while ago, um, a couple of months ago, um, and my, my girlfriend broke up with me, which, oh no, terrible, uh, but um, it was a very, a very strong relationship, it was like losing, a, losing my best friend, um, and as, so I decided uh, that I was going to work through it the best way that I can, art. which is which is art, yeah. Therapy isn't it really, I thought yeah. it is, yeah. yeah. And, um, I thought, why not try and help other people as well? Particularly men, uh, because, well, not that ladies can't get involved, but we struggle with this kind of thing. We don't really talk. We don't talk, Not do really. We? No, I mean, even to your closest buds, I mean, I was in the pub last night with a mate, and you just end up talking about cars and the weather. Yeah, till you till you're ten pints in, and then it's... <laughs> yeah, yeah, we didn't get that far. No. <laughs> it's a school night, we didn't get that far. <laughs> So I decided um, to try and help and, and get the message out there uh, that you, you can paint. Um, or, and, or whatever suits you, yeah. if you want to cook, that's creative. Yeah, whatever you do, whatever you do that's creative and it's a good way of expressing emotion. And sharing, that's the main thing. Like, there's so many artists that I find that just sit in their box. And that might work for a, a small amount of time, but ultimately... Yeah, you just I'll tell you something, if, you, if you're yeah. creating art for nobody else but yourself, to ever see, yeah, you've got problems. <laughs> it's just you, just you just dwell. You'll get stuck in a cycle. That's what yeah. depression is, I guess. Things like that. And yeah, they all entwine. Um, so, so yeah. this is well. This is this is what we're here to do. So hopefully, as the series progresses, I'm gonna just get people out there making art. That that's or or just doing something creative. And get your emotion, emotions into it, you know, so you're not, you're not dwelling on um, the past or, yeah, the, or the negative or the stuff. the potential future, yeah. Yeah, it's just about expressing yourself um, in a healthy way. Yeah. And that's what we're hoping to work towards in this series. Cool. Uh, I was going to do a monologue, but then Mike turned up and yeah, I think it's way more fun to chat to somebody than just be on your own, isn't it? I'm sure you'll tell us if it isn't in the comments, so that's fine. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we want feedback. We yeah, want just feedback. be honest. Like, if you thought... We were waffling on, or you what, just tell us what you want because yeah. that's the point. It's supposed to be about yeah. you, really. Yeah, and and the whole point, the the whole point as well is at the end of this, I want to put together a show, uh, and I'm going to invite um, people who've been on the journey with me to exhibit with me. So I mean, obviously, I'd like to see your work first because you know if you basically if if I don't like it, I'm not exhibiting. <laughs> <laughs> I won't be in. Don't worry. Uh, <laughs> That's it. that. I know that's blunt, but it's honest, you know. Yeah. Um, but maybe, I, maybe there could be a theme to the show, yeah. or and it hasn't got to be depressing or anything. It could just be it's something coherent. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. We'll get, basically, get your emotions out onto canvas, whatever. And I tell you what, like you said about cooking, if one of you likes to cook, you can cater it as well. I'm well vegetarian, so uh, yeah, yeah, it's gonna keep, keep that in mind, please. Like, keep it, keep it vegan, just to be on the safe side. Yeah, All yeah. my mates are vegan, yeah. so you just know. some hummus and carrot, it'd be fine. Yeah, yeah, and that'll be fine. It's hummus got. Um, Butter in? No, it's chickpeas. Is it just chickpeas? Yeah, mashed chickpeas with. Oh, it's got oil in. If you don't take anything away from this other than that fact, I think you've done well. So uh, yeah, thank you for joining us on the uh, the first episode of the Sad Artist, um, and I hope to see you on many more. Cool. Right. Bye. <laughs>